Hello, if you're new here, I'm Montana. I film my daily life, all things fashion and business. In this video, I will be making my very first like custom bag. Technically two, but it's like from the same person um, who's ordering it and I'm super excited. I kind of like made custom bags already like for my friend, but like they weren't like Crazy, you know, they asked for a mushroom theme and a sunflower theme bag a few weeks ago I think it's been a while honestly um, You know we all got busy with our lives I made samples for like kind of what I was gonna do and they said that I kind I they, they told me I have free range and what I can do It doesn't have to be a specific fabric, which is pretty nice because i thrift my fabrics and i'm not gonna find like a specific sunflower fabric or a specific mushroom fabric if i did i'll pick it up though i did throughout the few weeks pick up um fabric that i thought that would work well and then uh yeah, yeah. anyway so the samples i did were um this mushroom um, something like this. Obviously, this is not the colors at all. This is just something I didn't mind using and this was the idea I will put in like the actual colors and like More info I guess up around here, but we have this one the mushroom one and then uh, for the sunflower I thought maybe I'd do like a quilting kind of design So I did this. This is obviously super big and not the right color because that. It doesn't look like a sunflower, but I'm pretty sure I'm hoping once I put the actual color in it will look like more of a sunflower I'm Super excited to start it. I'm starting today. Obviously, I'm gonna be cutting out the fabrics I'm not gonna sew which like it's a little bit harder now that I work to Do this I guess Because I work all the time and then on my days off obviously this is when I do it and I work full-time So I only get like two days out of the week off it is a fun experience, but luckily they understand we're all busy and um, my goal is to have this done before like the middle of October. Uh, it is like almost the end of September today. I'm gonna stop talking and just get right to it. cut out both in their piles. I'm actually super excited to have these all cut out and start it. It makes me more confident in knowing I'll probably get this like done at like a pretty good time. I still have no idea how it's gonna turn out but yeah I kind of just like panicked a little bit like not necessarily panicked, but I was like, oh man, am I ever gonna actually be able to get this done? And I kind of talked about this in like one of my recent videos of like, lack of time, losing time, where's my time? <laughs> I just, you know, I'm still dealing with that. I'm figuring it out, how to manage my time. And on my off days, I, I do all the cutting and sewing. I think I might start sewing this one just because it is basically Frankenstein and um, it has a lot of quilting kind of stuff, not necessarily quilting, but it is, um, yeah, kind of quilting, I don't know what I'm saying. I have a lot of pieces I need to put together for this one, so I think I might start that. I have no idea if I did the math right, so that's, um, I guess we'll see when it's finished. Hopefully it is okay, because um, I don't want to recut anything. Uh, we'll hope for the best, but I think I will maybe start this. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how I feel, but I know I will. I'll do this eventually at least, so.
love it. It's cute. I hope all of these sizes. I dropped it on the floor. I hope all of these sizes are right. Oh, it's so exciting. It's actually kind of satisfying seeing it, especially in the proper colors, because it actually looks more like a sunflower than obviously what I had before. But I'm excited. I'm a little confused because these squares don't match up with this one, the bigger one. And I'm unsure if it was meant for this one, but this doesn't necessarily line up well with this one. I am not, I'm confused now. custom bags uh, it's been I don't know how long it's been it's been maybe a week since I've worked on them last time I worked on them I was able to get the mushrooms on they're not technically finished like obviously there's not really much going on with them I'm going to when I'm adding the scrap fabric which is what I'm doing today I'm going to kind of like embroider lines on it to make the mushroom details which I'm super excited about I love how it's turning out so far and then same with the sunflower one which I also love I think I'm gonna add maybe some lining details as well um, <laughs> when I uh, go to add the scrap fabric but the main goal today is getting that scrap fabric on my goal is to get this done I've already mentioned this obviously probably <laughs> is by the end of October. We are doing okay for time. Since it is already October 4th and I just have to sew the scrap fabric on, so I'm pretty proud of myself. We're doing good, we're doing good. I forgot like a long time ago, I bought this like scrap piece of fabric, kind of, like some more, and it has sunflowers on it. And I think I'm going to add it onto the sunflower bag. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add it onto this side though because there is already sunflowers on it. But I might just like add it on the other side because I don't have any sunflower details on it and onto the straps. So that's kind of exciting. Okay. So I have this one put on. I don't... Hmm... I feel like something's missing and I kind of wish like for the stitching I did white. I feel like that would have been like better. I guess I won't know until it's fully finished and I know like the thread doesn't pop out so much once the salvia is off but this is what I got. I don't know. We'll see. been embroidered the salvia is on it and now all I have to do is dissolve the salvia and then sew the bags together this is what they kind of look like right now I guess you don't really get the whole um, idea well you get the idea you don't get the whole actual I don't know I feel like it's gonna look a lot different once the salvia's like off I'm always like surprised because <laughs> I'm like I don't know, it's because you can see the thread more, and then once it's like dissolved, you're like, oh, it's a little more tame, which is good. That's how I want it. Hopefully these look great. Hopefully they look amazing. And I will see you on another day when I am ready to sew these bags together. Don't mind me, I look a little like a mess, but that's because um, I work later and I'm trying to sew before I go to work. I don't work until 12. 
so that's my goal also my goal was to get these bags done by tuesday like have them done for tuesday pretty sure that's what i said my um the bag would be like shipped out on for the customer too i'm pretty sure they'd be fine if it was later i just became like super busy with work and i could not find any time but for the next two days i'm going to like force myself to sew a really good bag <laughs> really good bags and just like get this finished hopefully by tuesday have it packed up and even like film the bags like the finished product because obviously you guys would like to see it i would like to have like photo proof of my bags so hopefully i can get that finished i work until seven today i'm not tired i will try to sew for another hour but tomorrow i i don't know it's a very weird time i work at one so i'm hopefully i can get some stuff done is today monday i thought today was sunday oh my god all right we have one bag mostly finished i just need to add the um channel and drawstring of course but it is mostly finished the other one has not been started though and i'm not sure how much i will get done of it i will try my best to sew when i get home though i probably won't film anything just because it's gonna be like dark but uh we're hoping for a finished product very soon very soon very soon good morning it's the next day and hopefully this is the last like day that i'm sewing these bags i'm not going to rush them of course because i want to send good quality but i only have one more step left and i don't think it's gonna take me that long it's just adding the channel which i could have did last night but um i don't know when i get to that point i'm like Ugh don't want to do it anymore i think it's because it's like the last thing i do other than like sewing the bottom and adding my tag and i'm just like this is tedious it's like it's just more of the last hard part really this is the stage i'm at they actually don't look bad we have this side i actually do really like this side though and then this side the sunflowers looks good and then the mushroom one looks like this i just like how artistic it really looks not like the exact thing it's just like it looks it looks like someone painted on these bags even though they're not painted it's fabric but i don't know there's something about it i like i'm gonna try to get these channels done i want to ship these bags out today too that is the goal i have until 12 and it is it is nine that is three hours i'm thinking that's enough time depending on how i work because obviously like 12 to 1 is like me getting ready for work <laughs> so i and then i also want to take photos of these bags i mean if i didn't run out of time i probably would have did like a nice little photo session and like filmed like a really nice video so you guys could see too, but I ran out of time and, you know, it happens, but I will try my best to show you guys these bags as much as I can. I definitely like them. I hope you guys like them. I hope they like them. I did send them, like, a photo of them, like, before they were sewn up and they said they, they love them, so...
Thank <laughs> you.